what's going on guys? Thanks for watching Doing Life with Jenny. When it comes time to budget, I think everyone knows the basics, the rent or mortgage, car insurance, utilities, but what are you forgetting possibly? Stay tuned to find out. The first thing you might be forgetting are just essentials that don't occur at any set period of time. For example, shampoo. It's not like you run out every month or every week, or toothpaste, deodorant, toilet paper, laundry detergent. They're things that happen regularly, but it's not like, hey, I need this every week or every month, like I mentioned. So it's easy to overlook, but definitely those things all add up. The second thing to keep in mind is that bills might fluctuate throughout the year. For example, here in the St. Louis area, I don't have to run AC or heating in the fall or spring. You can shut the windows open and it is cheaper to run the heating in the winter than it is to run the AC in the summer. Um, so keep that in mind. I personally save back the money I'm not spending in the fall and spring so that come summer I have that extra in my budget already. Also for me personally as a teacher I don't need that much of a gas budget during the summer because I'm not going to work. So it's just for things like church and running errands. So think about what bills might increase or decrease or disappear depending on what time of the year it is. Thirdly, don't forget to include things that happen regularly but less frequently. For example, every year you have to renew your license plate or every few years your license itself. Um, you might have a septic tank and have to clean it out every five years or whatever the case may be. So think long term what things happen but less frequently. Sorry, the dogs are making a ruckus as usual. Number four, don't forget to put a spot in your budget to save money. Too often people pay the bills all month or all week, however you have it organized, and then whatever's left over, they save. Well, you know how that goes. There's nothing left at the end of the month to save. I have a specific spot on my budget sheet that every month I'm saving X amounts. And then if I have any money left over in another category, I can move it to savings. That way every month I know I'm not touching this, it is forbidden. Number five, if you do not currently have a car payment, pretend that you do. Let's say your Honda Civic is paid off, therefore you're not making a payment. Pay yourself each month for that. That way, when the Honda Civic craps out, you have the cash and you can go and pay cash for the next vehicle. Number six, vacation and or entertainment. I always see like this time of year in the spring, banks start advertising like some kind of low interest loan for vacations. If you don't have the cash for vacations, you should not be going. Therefore, if you enjoy that sort of thing, save a little bit back throughout the year so you can treat yourself. Same thing for entertainment. If you like to go out to the movies, go roller skating, whatever the case may be, set a little bit aside for that as well. And finally, number seven is sort of an emergency budget, but not quite. For me, an emergency budget is like you didn't see it coming at all, like a trip to the ER or you get in a car wreck maybe. Um, this is more to set a little bit aside for things you know will eventually happen. For example, um, let's say the type of roof that you have needs replaced every 30 years. You know it's coming every 30 years, so set a little bit aside so it's not a big chunk of change at once later. Same thing, your fridge. Like You don't know when it's going to go out, but you know it's going to go out because they don't make them like they used to. So set a little bit aside. So that when it comes time, again, you have that money handy and you're not dipping into your savings or whatnot. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Take care.